Hello everyone, this is Pamper2. Here are three keyboards that I got at Goodwill. They are actually um, cash register keyboards made by Cherry. It's a German company that makes uh, heavy duty keyboards. And then this one here has a magnetic card reader. Same thing here. And this one here has a uh, smart card reader. I think that's what they're called. Um, also made by there's the cherry. All right, so on these uh, magnetic strip card uh, reader keyboards, I just plug it in through the uh, PS2 slot. There we go. This is a PS2 keyboard, and uh, everything works just like a normal keyboard, except you have the option to use um, magnetic strips. Here's a Costco card here, and we got a couple more. I collect these cards. Here's an old bank card I found on the road. It's uh, expired in 92. <laughs> I like the old style print on that one. And I have the uh, TV converter box $40 coupon which no longer works anymore. This was for people who lived in the United States when they switched from analog to digital TV. They gave everyone free cards to get a converter box. There's a little hologram in there security, security, and an eagle in the center. And these are just regular magnetic cards. So in a minute I'll show you um, how that works. Now this here is not magnetic card, this is a smart card that uses a chip like this. This is a DirecTV uh, access card. Uh, so that chip would actually go like this. And there's a little pins in there that will connect to it. I can't get this to work. I haven't figured it out yet. I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to be able to do with it. Here I have another access card and another access card. I collect these cards too. Um, and I can also read uh, SIM cards from phones on this with an adapter. Let's go ahead and plug it in and test it out. Alright, so I unplugged the Omni key and, it ins uh, and plugged in this uh, Cherry. I'm going to open Notepad and then we'll swipe a card. Alright, here I have Notepad open to full screen and the uh, Cherry keyboard. Hello. So once I swipe that card, it's going to print on that line. Let's, um, let's do the uh, TV converter box. So all I have to do is stick it here and I'm going to swipe it. A big string of information just spit out. We have a uh, number and a name. It has my name on there and some more information. I'm not sure what everything means, but I know the first digits are the number on the card, and the card holder, routing numbers, things like that. Let's go ahead and try the um, Costco card. This is me a few years back. Okay. Okay, I'm going to swipe. Nothing happened. Oh, I did it backwards. Let's try that again. Okay, so this goes this way. Alright. Got my name there again. <laughs> and some more numbers. Let's try something different here. Let's go ahead and try this uh, bank card that I found a long time ago. Um, expires in 94. Yeah, 94. Someone lost it at the Goodwill, I think. Oop. Okay. There we go. Some information. I'm going to blur this out most likely, but uh, you see it just spits it out that simple. Here's something I feel safe showing the outputs to on the internet. This is a uh, f uh, Furcon, Further Confusion 2009, Hotel Room room Key. And uh, they gave these out during the con for room keys. Double Tree Hotel, okay. FC 2009, Souvenir Hotel Key Card, not an actual club membership. Because it says right here, club card. Okay, this one's simple enough. Let's uh, swipe it here. Let's give it a couple return lines. There we go. Let's try that again. Oh shit. Other way.
Yeah, this one's dead. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.